As a doula, your job and mission is to provide all the tools for new parents so that after you're there for a short amount of time, you kind of work yourself out of their home so that you can leave them with all the tools that they need to carry on in raising their baby. I'm Kathleen Sullivan, and this is Jonah, who is 12 days old today. I'm what's called a postpartum doula, and a doula is an old Greek word that means mother's servant. Uh, there's a birth doula, which is a labor assistant, and then I am a postpartum doula, which is after the birth. My mission is guiding new parents into honoring, discovering, and being fully present in the unique relationship that they have with their newborn. Until the umbilical cord falls off, which is a week to two weeks on a newborn, you can give them what's called a sponge bath. I've kind of perfected that sponge bath and I now call it the spa bath. I light candles and lower the lights and I, I make it real special. It's very cozy, it's a very intimate time. I fill a big bowl of water, making sure that the temperature's just right. I lay them on a big adult-sized towel that's all folded. Babies at this age don't like to be naked, so I always start with their clothes on and undress them slowly so that it's done in layers. The washcloth over his head holds the heat in because babies lose their body heat through their head and their feet. Then I work my way down. I remove his diaper, wash his tush, make sure he's clean. Okay. You kind of gauge how he's doing. If you notice that your baby's starting to get a little fussy, you need to speed things up and work a little quicker. But if he's enjoying it and if he's in a good place, then it's really nice to just appreciate this bath. So these blankets are made large and square, which is perfect for swaddling. So what we do is we fold over one corner, like this, and then I'm gonna take her from you. And what we do is we lay her head always right where her neck is where the material is. And then we're gonna take one of her arms and we're gonna, this is, it's a down, up, down, up. So we're gonna go down. Then we're gonna go up, Miss Lila. Okay, then we take the other corner, and we're going across to her hip again. And then we take this last one and just sweep it over. There we go. And then as I pick her up, I just kind of swing it back in the back like this. And if there's enough room, I just tuck it in. Hi, how do you like that? She's actually asleep right now because it reminds her of the womb. Thank you. You're welcome. So babies get fussy, and a lot of times it's in the evening when they're fighting the transition into night. These exercise balls have turned out to be something that's really great to calm a fussy baby. People get confused because they think if they walk the floors with a newborn that it's going to calm them down. But in reality, every time they turn a corner, the baby's looking at something new, which is also very stimulating. If we find out that she's too wide awake and she needs to go to sleep because they do have a rhythm to their sleep and awake time, then we can actually just lay this over her eyes. But it kind of shuts down the activity that she might, she might be looking at, you know, the stimuli. And then once she's asleep, you can just take it off. Sometimes I roll my fingers down her forehead and over her eyebrows because they don't know to shut themselves down to go to sleep. So we kind of have to assist them. I've been with um, over 200 new families and new babies. And one of the things that I've noticed is that there's some information out there that new parents aren't aware of. And that is the importance of spoiling a newborn. It's, uh, it's a positive spin on the word spoiling. 
and the first three months of a baby's life, if we emulate the womb and hold this baby close to us for the first three months, the more confident child they're going to be later. So it's, it's great. It's great stuff.